What's up everyone? Today we're going to be putting a gray water system in for the shower and tub. The way this thing works is over here you got the bathtub. You see the drain, the trap. Up here is the overflow. Then it comes into the bigger pipe right here. That is a vent going up through the roof. Then it comes down here into the floor and makes its way to the septic system. The way this is going to work is we have this valve right here. You shut that off, preventing it from going to the septic system. It will back up to here where you can open that valve and that's going to go to gray water. That is going to be for watering plants in the summertime. But also most of the time it's going to just be released into the yard. Gray water is not sewage. It does not have any environmental impact. Most soaps are now environmentally friendly. And here in the woods, we will not use Drano, any of those chemicals. We don't use bleach, anything like that, because it can hurt things like the septic system. And usually it's minimal, but it does still kill bacteria and prevent it from working as well. Also, the septic system we have on this property is over 50 years old. It's amazing. It's still in working condition. This will also take stress off the aging system. So what I plan on doing right here, right underneath this, a 90 up to the wall, a 90 this way at a slight two or three degree pitch. Then when we get to this wall, another 90, putting it down, then another 90, out through this wall, we're going to drill through these uh, eight inch walls. Then when we're outside, 90 it down to ground level, another 90. And right there at that point where it's like maybe an inch or two off the ground, we will put a uh, four inch, eight foot long piece of PVC pipe that's not physically fused to it. That gets it away from the foundation so it doesn't come into the basement and also it's removable. You take it off every time you mow it lawn. Yeah. And when we choose to use it for irrigation, I'm going to have a special hookup on here for a two inch hose where the hose can just go on it and it'll trickle down. Uh, right outside this wall, we have a hill that goes down and the pressure of the sealed two inch hose will actually cause pressure and it'll be forced through soaker hoses in the summer months. For vegetable garden so literally every time you take a shower or a bath the vegetables are getting it and soap won't hurt anything with that cleaners will actually kill the plants and these things right here i tell you these days with all the high prices and stuff going on it is high buying plumbing stuff these things here are 45 to 50 bucks a piece these big ball valves and this piece of pipe here I remember years ago, you get a pipe like this for four bucks. Store is now asking, I believe like 12 bucks on this section of pipe. But that's why I'm also reusing some older scraps for smaller pieces of it. And um, I don't believe I know where I, oh yes, I know. I have a, like another big piece like this cut in half, which will work out fine. And today... Just because I think it looks better, Purple Primer Cleaner makes a damn mess. And it's only required so the code inspector can make sure you seal it. But if you're not having an inspection, um, the stuff right here, clear. If you spill it on something, it doesn't ruin it. Like, Purple Primer Cleaner doesn't come off of stuff. It even stains your fingers for a while. Uh, right here we have this, I really like this, blue cement. See, doesn't that look nice? The blue cement that we have up there. Um, then we have this right here to fill the gap that we have to bore out there and it's freezing cold outside and when it gets warmer outside, I will caulk a ring around the outside. Can't do it in this kind of weather. Just not going to work. Then we have a bunch of hanger clips that we'll put on with these heavy duty screws. I don't think I'll be needing this piece at all, but you never know. Things happen. I highly recommend to anyone doing new construction work, definitely put hot water going to your outside if you live up north. Then if you get a 40 degree Fahrenheit day, you can wash your car without freezing your hands off. You can get all that nasty salt off so it doesn't wreck your car. Definitely recommend getting a 
hot water setup outside if you're putting in new plumbing. All right, guys, that went very smoothly. Now I will add some brackets once I'm done with everything. Required every three feet for drain lines by code. Now over here, you can have the pipe coming down to here. And now I don't have a two inch drill bit. I have one and a quarter, but I'm gonna drill a couple holes really close to each other. And once I spray foam around and caulk on the outside, you'll never notice.
All right, that was just me going through the spray foam. I'm gonna, I need a little, I'm gonna add an extension because it's too far. Got eight inches of foam, then you got the exterior wall. Got a little extension, that'll help us a lot. This spray foam is annoying. It sticks to you like static. It's all over my shirt. Such a mess. Battery's dead. Gotta switch it. Hopefully this one got power or I'm gonna have to charge it. Maybe it's just oh, maybe it's just overheating the drill. All right, now that I know where the hole is, I'm going to neaten it up outside as best as possible, okay? Before I make more holes through there, I'm going outside to do it. All right, guys, from the other side, I used a keyhole saw, and that worked perfect to get the rest of the job done.
all done. guys that's the pipe outside where it's going to be discharging and now with my foot i'm gonna open the valve here we go here it comes here it comes comes here it comes wait for it here it comes there it comes right on outside in the springtime that can easily be tapped onto for irrigation can you hear it Alright everyone, I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.